In this video, we are going to talk about programming with Arduino and how we can use ChatGPT to help us. We can break down this topic into three levels of difficulty. So whether you are a beginner or an advanced programmer, doesn't really matter. So let's get started. Level one is all about programming the HCSR04, which is a very popular ultrasonic sensor. And it will actually send a sound wave to the, to the obstacle and then it measures the time that it takes for the sound wave to bounce back. And because we know the speed of sound, we can actually calculate what the distance was to the object. So to start off, you will need to connect the ultrasonic sensor to your Arduino board. And once you have connected the sensor, you are ready to start coding. But to start coding, we are actually going to use the ChatGPT. So if we go to the openai.com, you can actually join the ChatGPT. And what I already did was ask it to write an Arduino script for ultrasonic sensor without using libraries. And it will actually come up with a similar answer to this. So here's an example of an Arduino script uh, without using any libraries. So you see it actually created the code here and did a little explanation. So it will explain uh, which constants you have to define and it has a little description of how the code is actually working. So what you can do is click on copy code and then you can go to the Arduino IDE. You can actually copy the whole code and paste it into here. And let's compile it first to see if there are any uh, errors in it. And you can see it's actually compiled uh, successful. So there are no mistakes in the code. So I will show you now exactly what it does in real life. So you can see here now, I will move my hand towards the sensor and move further away from the sensor. And it will actually be able to uh, measure this distance and change the distance in the serial monitor. So the code is actually working. And because the code is actually working, we can conclude that we have finished level one. So we can go to the next level, which is about programming a servo motor, which can rotate from zero to 180 degrees with a one second delay. So again, I asked the chat GBT to come up with a script for this. And here's what it said. Here's an example Arduino script to run a servo motor from zero to 180 degrees with a one second delay. So again, it uses a for loop here with a small delay of one second. And we can again copy this code and we can go to the Arduino IDE and paste the code in here and compile it again. And you see the compiling is finished successfully again. And we can now uh, upload this code to the Arduino and see if the code is actually working or not. So you see the servo motor is doing exactly what we asked the ChatGPT to program for us. So it's rotating from the zero to 180 degrees with a one second delay. And because now it is actually doing one step at, at a time every one second, you can actually improve the code by just simply making the delay much smaller. So we can conclude that level two is also finished. And because this code is working, we can actually go to level three. And that is about uh, writing a script for a uh, gyroscope sensor, which is actually the MPO6050. So I asked the ChatGPT to write an Arduino script for measuring the angle and use the MPO6050 gyroscope sensor for this. And I asked it also to include the library in the code. So it actually came up with this uh, code, which is actually using the wire and MPO6050. And it will actually calculate the angle. Um, so here it explains a little bit how the code is working. And for this, we can again click on copy code and go back to the Arduino IDE and paste the code inside here and compile it again. And you see the compiling is actually finished again, successful. So now we will see if the code is actually working in real life. So after you have uploaded this code to the Arduino and you have plugged all hardware in, you can actually see that the code is actually working pretty good. 
and we can also see that it is printing on the serial monitor actual the the angle uh, which is measured by the gyroscope so you can see how powerful ChatGPT is by programming an Arduino and it doesn't matter if you are a beginner uh, you can use ChatGPT to help you uh, as a guidance and uh, improve your programming skills so if you thought this video was useful for you make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one